Hello, this is Ara from Toolchef. In this video, we are going to look at the Atomos caching system. So, let's create an agent group. Add the grid layout and a stick machine module. Switch to scheme mode and create more agents. Like five, five. I change to one, set one. Now let's duplicate this one. Let's translate it. Duplicate again. Update simulation. Just press play. Okay, it's fine. So after you your simulation is ready. You can cache the simulation on disk using the Atoms cache. Uh, so, to create a, an Atoms cache, go to the Atoms menu, export, and cache exporter. Here you can see all the agent groups that are in the scene, and you can select the agent group that you want to cache out. So, for this example, let's select all the agent group, set the output path. And then uh, set a name, save. Here, we'll just cache out one of the frames, fine. Here, you can turn off the threading and compression option. So, just hit export. And then our cache is ready. So, now you can use uh, and import back your cache. So let's hide all the agent group and then create a new agent group. Open and this time we add a cache reader module. Set the cache path. Remember to select the, the other frame that is this one, is the file with the cache name.atoms because all the other files here are the data for each frame. So select this one, accept, and then you have your cache basically. You can press play, you have your agent here. Let's switch to the scheme mode. So now with your cache you can do uh, a couple of things with your cache. Uh, you can for example apply a new i field on your cache. So let's create a grid. Let's scale. Let's subdivide 100, uh, 100. Let's add the mountain deformer. Hundreds. Let's change the scale something like this, and now I'll just create an I field. Select OK, and then just go back to the agent group and set the I field. So if you can see the, the cache is adapting to the new terrain. So it's really easy if, for example, in your shot you need to update the terrain, you have just the cache, you just need to import the cache in your scene, create a new I field with a new ground and apply it back. Here, obviously, you can also retime your cache. For example, you won't change the frame rate. Can put animation here, keyframes. Here you can offset your cache. But then you can also use the use the agent layout tool on on the cache. With, so just press enter here, selecting the agent group. And now, oops, sorry, here and now, open the tool UI. 
Now you can select agents and move them. Like this, if you press play. This move. You can also rotate them like this. And you can move that this guy here and rotate them like that. Press play. You see, you can tweak, you can also delete agents. For example, here, you want to delete this guy here, and so on. So you can tweak your, uh, your simulation. Uh, but you can do some other things. So for example, let's let's add a follow curve module here. So now let's create a curve. Like that. Okay. And now go to the agent group, select select this guy here, and then here override the direction from cache. Leave to zero because we don't want to use the direction stored in the cache now for those guys here. So set value. And then in the follow curve, now press play. Now you see the agents are following the curve. So now you can add other modules here if you want, adding more behaviors to the cache. And then you can uh, also cache out the, this agent group, so creating a new cache. 